You're watching Hall of Famer skaters right now before your very eyes, ladies and gentlemen. Let's look at their opening 200 meters. Ted Jan Bloman at 18.67. Uh, for the fastest uh, time, fastest 200 meter opener of this small grouping. Uh, Graham Fish at 19.37, about a third of the second off the pace, ranking fifth on his opening 200 meters. So this is going to be in lap times under 29 seconds, 28.28 for Ted Jan Bloman and 28.82. Three weeks ago, I was out here for the Fall Classic, calling these two gentlemen in the 10,000 meter race. And who would have thought a 10,000 meter race was gonna be as exciting as what I called back then, and it was. Lohman had uh, Fish for the first 10 laps, then Fish took the next 10 or 11 laps, and then Ted Jan took it with the last two or three laps remaining, both of them giving it their all. They're both friends and competitors, uh, on and off the ice, making the best, bringing the best out in each of them. They're both extremely talented, incredibly fit, and a standard for other skaters who look to skate long distances like these two skaters. So let's take a look at their lap time. So Bloman's lap time is uh, well under 28, 29 seconds actually, it's 28.59. Graham, a little higher the previous lap. I think he probably wants to bring that down a little bit and, uh, and stay close to Ted uh, through, throughout the race. But you're watching Canada's finest long, long, long track skaters before your very eyes, whether you're live in the oval, in, the, in this, or, or, or you're watching it on YouTube or Facebook, if I get a head nod, yes, Facebook. YouTube, CBC, that's the first I've mentioned them, so CBC is also streaming this as well. So you're getting a taste of um, potentially uh, the Olympic, uh, Olympic qualifiers. Uh, so um, the times, so Ted Yen Floman's personal best, which I believe would be a world record holder and a Canadian record, will be six, just over six uh, minutes and one second minutes six seconds so you would think by those times that that's how they would finish up the race but let's see what happens these two are fierce competitors they know they're competing against the clock so neither skater Neither skater has broken 30 seconds for a lap time, uh, and they are a good seven, eight laps uh, into this uh, 12 and a half lap race. Uh, Ted Jan Bloman is turning up the heat. His time for the lap time is coming down, not going up. Nothing would please Graham more for him to catch Ted uh, as Ted's an, an amazing skater, as is Graham. Graham set a world record at a very good he has, and how many years ahead of him, he's still not yet in his peak uh, performance state. So we are 3,400 meters into a 5,000 meter race. Ted's looking strong. Eight seconds off the pace uh, set by Jordan Belchos. Uh, they're both one and two in terms of time. Ted Yan time is 29.3. Is it possible that they go around 12 and a half laps with, uh, with 30 or under lap time? This will be very interesting to see. Make no mistake about it, they know where each other is out there, but they also have their own race to race. Their job is to bring out the best in each other because at the end of the, end of the day, you're competing against. Go, Ted Jan Bloman's got a 29.37 uh, lap time, 29.85 for Graham. 
Wouldn't it be cool if both of them uh, PB'd? Yeah, the timing deck, everybody up in the timing the deck agrees with me as well. Okay, we've got uh, the bell lap for Ted Jan Bloman. Uh, no time has he been under 30 seconds for a lap, and I don't expect that to be the final, uh, I don't expect that to happen for the final lap. I expect him to gut it out as much as possible as he rounds the final turn and heads the straightaway. And here he comes, give him a big hand. Coming down the stretch, can he beat 601.86? 601.86, that's what we're looking for. 606.69, 606. .69, 606. And great.